welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is your first time seeing me. Hello, my name is Diamond Janae here on YouTube. I do hair videos, makeup videos, all that type of fun stuff. So if that's the type of stuff that you guys are interested in, definitely consider subscribing to your girl down below. So as you guys can see by today's title, today's video is going to be basically me recreating this cute neon green type of tropical vibe type of eyeshadow look it's a lot warmer today than it has been in pa for the past couple months now and i'm just a happy camper is definitely giving me like summer type vibes so that basically kind of expired this type of color theme honestly the way the colors turned out and how the eyeshadow look itself turned out it's kind of random so I'm a little bit nervous that I might not be able to recreate the exact same thing on the other eye, but we'll see how that goes. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So starting off, I'm just gonna be prepping my eyes. So I actually am going to be using some scotch tape. At least if you do this, me personally, you get to skip the step of you having to like clean up everything, like once everything's all said and done with a makeup remover. So, cause I've been slacking, cause I've been kept saying that every single time I was gonna go to the store, I was gonna quick stop and get some tape because your girl loves tape i like my eyeshadow looks to look nice and crispy okay like crisp so next of course per usual i will be using the be perfect cosmetics perfect prime eyeshadow primer and guys honestly i would definitely invest in this because like at least no matter what eyeshadow palette i use i feel like the results still turn out the same like the colors are still really pigmented and whatnot so per usual, part of what I need to create this eyeshadow look is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro Palette. But then also, I'm also going to be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Palette. I haven't used this palette in so long, I almost forgot what it was called. But anyways, there have I feel like this is kind of like the drugstore version of the Be Perfect Cosmetics Palette. Because you do get like a lot of nice pretty colors in this palette as well. I will say some of the colors aren't as pigmented as I want them to be. But this palette still definitely does get the job done. So starting off I'm just going to be using the shade The Hype. And that's like pretty green color right there. But I'm basically just going to focus that more on like the outer corner. And kind of like wing it out up as you guys can see there. And again the beauty of having tape on the side of your eye is that you don't have to worry about cleaning it up later so that's definitely one of the main reasons why i prefer to do that that way next i'm going to be going into the lime green color right below the first one i use and that one is called ecstasy and i'm basically just gonna plop that kind of like right in the middle slash like into the green that i had used earlier because i'm trying to get like a nice like ombre effect and i'm just lightly patting that on just because like if i were to sweep this color like this the color is basically going to be gone so I'm basically just going to try to blend that and kind of just pack it in. I know this isn't the right brush I'm supposed to be using for that. But your girl wanted to sit down and film a video and completely forgot that she didn't clean her eyeshadow brushes. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of like, it's like slim pickings today. Because it's usually like the brushes that I don't like use a lot a lot that I'm basically using today for this look. But it still turned out pretty good though. Like look, already y'all see the look coming together, you know. This looks so cute already, like guys, I am so hyped. Like look at that ombre though, like look at that blend. And I literally just used two colors. Like this could be a whole eyeshadow look right off the bat, just by itself, you know? Like this is so pretty. I dead peeped that this wasn't recording. Oh my gosh. Okay, so basically what I did was, went into this palette and then I used this blue color up top right here, as you guys can see. And then I basically just focused that in the inner corner of my eye and then also lightly blending that. And what I'm also going to do is kind of extend it and kind of start blending it out in here as well. So as you guys can see, like I'm not just stopping here. I'm also kind of like going above where I put those other colors and just lightly tap tapping that blue on there just to kind of help everything like ombre and like blend a bit more. So I'm like patting and swiping. I'm doing like a lot of patting and swiping, patting and swiping, not so much more swiping because I really want the colors to like pop out at you more and i'm basically just gonna go back into that color ecstasy again just because it did get lost a little bit so 
So stepping back into the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette, I'm going to be using the color called Make It Make Waves, I think it's called. Yeah, Make Waves. So it's basically this color right here. And then with a smaller, more detailed brush, I'm basically just gonna blend that into my crease. Then I'm just gonna go into that shade Ecstasy again and re-plop it on. Cause like guys, honestly, it is so easy for this particular color to get lost and kind of like blend it out and kind of like mute it. So like I have to keep going back in to like re-intensify the look of it. So I'm basically just gonna redo the top area really quickly and then I'm gonna cut my crease in just a second. So before I cut the crease, you know, your girl likes to kind of, you know, save herself some steps and save herself some time. So I'm basically just going to be prepping my eyelash just to make sure that that's ready for me to basically plop on once I'm done cutting my crease. And the eyelash style I'm going to be using today is in the style Savage. And if you guys were interested in purchasing these beautiful Mink Lashes, it's from diamonddebonair.com, so I'll definitely leave a link down below and all that fun stuff if you guys wanted to purchase these lashes for yourself. I mean, why wouldn't you? These look super cute, guys. You know, like, self-promo, it's free, so of course I'm gonna do it. Like, So next to cut my crease, I'm just going to be going back into the eyeshadow primer that I had used earlier, and I'm basically just gonna take the applicator and kind of just brush this flat eyeshadow brush i dead forgot what it was called for a second i'm not gonna lie that's what that, that that's what that weird pause was but i'm basically just gonna brush this on here to basically get some of the product on there and then i'm basically just gonna cut my crease really quick and then i'm just gonna be taking that darker blue that i used earlier to for the crease called make waves and basically kind of just ombre that into my eye i was about to say my eye my eyelid <laughs> and then of course last but not least i'm going to be using the shade ecstasy again and i'm really 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 and i mean really i'm going to be packing this color on like i said before guys this color can easily get lost if you don't you know what hold on i'm over here packing on all this color and i forgot like i know how some people like to like spray a little bit of setting spray on the brush to help the color pick up even more and i'm over here in my bathroom struggling with a million and one layers of this and i completely forgot i'm like wait a minute i just really want this color to pop out because this is probably like, the most intense color out of like the whole like as you guys can see like you see how it kind of just pulled together well, as soon as I pop my lashes on, it's gonna pull us together even more. Two hours later. Okay, so my eyelash didn't stick on the way it was supposed to. I hate when that happens. It literally aggravates the crap out of me, especially considering the fact that if it leaves any like extra residue on my eye, it just aggravates me. But I'm gonna try to push past that, working on it, okay? Anyways, let's just move on to my face just because I don't want this video to be too, too long. All right, guys, so moving on to my face, I'm just going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer for my to basically prime my face, as you guys can see by, like, the product name of it, obviously. But yeah, so I'm basically just going to put that on my face, especially with it getting warmer and stuff like that and it becoming summer really 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 soon this is definitely like my go to primer just because i have dry skin and i feel like this definitely helps blend everything all together and like all my makeup just sits really really nicely on top of it next for foundation i'm just going to be using the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating foundation and if you guys are wondering i am in the shade 350 and this shade actually matches me really 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 perfect especially like closer to summer and whatnot but i definitely still do wear this as my winter shade as well just because i'm the type of person that when it comes to foundation i like to match my foundation to my neck and my chest and not so much my face because i feel like once you already put in your concealer and once you like set your concealer with powder and that whole shebang your face is like i don't know how to explain it but like especially like if you guys watch like other people's tutorials and stuff like that when it comes to makeup like their foundation will look 
dark but then by the time they're done it doesn't look as dark even though they like didn't change what foundation they were using you know so like to me i feel like everything just blends in way better if i shade match to match my chest like as you guys can see like i'm all together like i'm all like one just like one thing you know and of course i'm just going to be going into my elf beauty splunt sponge sponge and then i'm basically just going to blend that out as well finally oh my gosh there we go okay so you like you see how like the look just came together you know even though i just have foundation on right now but we we gonna finish this bad boy out it's gonna be cute but <sighs> I don't know why I hate when I'm trying to apply eyelashes and they just don't stick on because honestly for me that still happens like I've been wearing eyelashes for like five plus years now at this point yeah it's been like six years I think it's been like six years yeah it's been like around like six years since I started actually like applying lashes and stuff like that and this still be happening to me and this be oh uh, that's just the most nerve-wracking thing in the world to me when that happens so i'm just like i want to move on to the next step and i can't because it's not working next for concealer i'm just going to be using the milani conceal and protect concealer and if you guys are wondering i am in the shade natural sand in this particular product i'm trying to switch up my makeup a bit more just because i have so many like makeup products that i barely even use and it's not even that i don't like them it's just i don't know like i always i go into the bad habit of like using a product and then i keep using it forever in a day and then i just neglect everything else i'm really trying not to get mad right now because i'm in a genuinely good mood today but this eyelash is trying me like it's really trying me right now fourth time's the charm right is is that how the saying goes i know for a fact that's not how the saying goes yeah so i basically i like to switch between drugstore and high-end because to keep it a book with you guys i feel like there's certain high-end product like i feel like every single high-end product out there you can find a dupe for like honestly and the two because i did do a full face of fancy and then a full face of worn this way so if you guys want to check those videos out those will probably be like an e-cards or something like that for you guys to look at but <clears throat> literally as i was reviewing the products i was dead coming up with dupes like i will say the fancy beauty concealer is really really good but if you want like a really good dupe for it get the milani concealer because i feel like it's basically the same thing at least in my personal opinion when it comes to coverage the finish the the feel of it and all that i feel like it's basically kind of just the same product which is by no means a bad thing at all like if you got the money to be experimenting and stuff like that then by all means do it but if you don't want to spend a lot of your coin on a product that you're not 100 sure that you're gonna like definitely check out the dupes you know what i mean so i'm basically just going to be patting this in and kind of help blending that out at the edges and then i'm gonna swoop around i've been using my concealer like this i would say for about maybe like two three months now like it's fairly recent that i started changing the way i apply my concealer next to set my concealer i'm just going to be using the fenty beauty banana powder and guys i have consistently been using this product ever since I got it to, to base, not bake my face so I'm anti -baking. but to basically set my concealer like I don't know guys like this is one of those things where if I had to I don't have a dupe for this yet anyways but out of all the drugstore banana powders that I have tried nothing measures up to this one as of now I will definitely keep you guys updated ow i just poked the crap out of my face i'll definitely keep you guys updated i feel like when i blink i feel like my left eyelash looks weird i don't like that so i'm basically just gonna dip that with my beauty blender and i'm basically just gonna blow off the excess and then kind of just pat everything in like so i personally like doing it this way just because i help i feel like it helps set the concealer better so i'm low-key gonna be looking like a powdered donut in like a second but not even like i feel like this is like the perfect shade for me like it's not too light but it's also not too dark like it blends in really really well so like i said before i'll keep y'all updated but this is definitely worth it and if and when i do run out of this powder this is a lot of product you get in here too i will definitely 1010 percent not hesitate to rebuy it at all and next to help add some dimension back into my face i'm just going to be using the maybelline city bronzer in the shade 300. i'm not 100 sure because this product came out a while ago like i feel like i got this last summer but i feel like it's even older than that 
But I will say I love this product to death. The only critique I will say I have with this product is the fact that this is actually the darkest shade. I could be completely wrong. Like they could have came out with like more shades and whatnot now because it's been so long. But last time I went to Ulta, which was maybe like a year ago basically when I got it, this is the darkest one that they had. And I'm just like, okay. So then just to clean up the sides here, I'm just gonna go back into that banana powder that I had used earlier. So next to basically set the rest of my face and to also dust off that banana powder, I'm going to be using the Born This Way setting powder. And fun fact, originally I had bought this powder to be the powder that I would use to set my under eye, but for some reason when I got it, well, obviously not for some reason because obviously like the product is the way it's supposed to be. But I don't know, on the website to me, for some reason, it just looked like it was going to be like my shade. Because the other shade that they had looked too chalky to me. So that's why I have bought this one instead. But I still use it to set my face. Like it's really good. Like I feel like this is another product that as of now, I can't 100% find a dupe for. Next, I'm basically just going to be going into that City Bronzer again, and I'm basically just going to use that to kind of contour my nose. DoorDash. But anyways, so next for, I was about to say blush and highlighter. Because mm -hmm. I want to do like a nice like kind of like golden highlighter with this look. I don't know we'll see we'll see but definitely i am going to be using the wander beauty dust till dust till dawn blush and highlighter palette and i'm just going to be using that shade havana night there we go <laughs> havana night i know for a fact 1010 percent i need to get more blushes because this is honestly the only blush that i use like i think this is the only blush that i still own right now like I need, I need to stop slacking. I heard Milani had really good blushes, so I definitely want to look into trying out some of theirs. I'm just not a super huge blush person. Like, I don't really care for blush like that, like that. Like, I'll add it in just because I like the way it looks with, like, the contour blush and highlighter. But I'm not the type of person that really wants that to be, like, the main focus of my face. I almost forgot I had bought this when I was doing my like full face of Born This Way, but this is basically the Sweethearts Bronzer Baked the Luminous Glow Bronzer, and it looks like that. I thought this was gonna be a bronzer like how the Maybelline bronzer was, but it's not. It's more like a duo highlighter type of thing. So let me just get a brush and do like a little test swipe to see what it's giving. Mm. It's not giving nothing. Okay, so let me just put that away. I feel like there's a reason why I completely forgot I had this thing. All right, so I'm basically just gonna go back into this eyeshadow palette for the millionth and one time this year. <laughs> and I'm going to be probably using a mix of the shade Gold Lux and also Fair Play just because I want my highlighter to really pop. Like I want, I kind of want like that goldish look, but at the same time, I want my highlighter to really, why does my camera look like that right now? I look super light like I don't I gotta mess around with my camera settings because even like the past two three videos I tried to film you see right there just readjusted itself I have it set to manual but the light keeps changing like I don't think that's supposed to be happening so I gotta mess with my settings to figure this stuff out because listen I'm not trying to be over here having my videos look crazy even my old videos cringe the crap out of me because of how the camera quality used to look but yeah so I'm basically mixing those two colors together as my highlighter I'm kind of just playing around with it to see how I like it I get in my moods like sometimes I'm like a really like I want highlighter all over my face and then there's other times where I really it does it's not really necessary to me like you can't really see it but it's there like I know it's there so it's like one of those things where like I just feel better the way it looks if that makes sense so per usual whenever I do like a super like intricate eyeshadow look like this I like my lips to kind of be pretty like neutral and tame so for my lip liner I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics lip liner in the shade San Beige and then for my actual lips I'll be using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline
I always like to overline my top lip just a little bit because I just like the way it looks. But I feel like, don't we all? Like, I just find it so funny how for, I personally never got bullied for my lips in particular, but like, I, I gotta do a whole video about that. But there's like a lot of stuff that people used to go through through high school, middle school, elementary school that we used to get bullied for that's now considered popular and everybody and their moms be doing it. And I just find that completely ridiculous. I always love this lip combo cause it's like, it's lighter than what I usually do. But at the same time, it's not light to the point where I'm over here feeling like I look crazy. But yeah, like you see how like, this a whole with the blonde hair and the more pinkish lip and then the tropical eyes and the red nails are kind of throwing it off for me. But other than that, I feel cute. <laughs> I, I just look cute. So last but not least to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to be going in with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And honestly guys, like I, when they came out with the Luminous Setting Mist and then also like the Mattifying Setting Mist, I was really excited slash curious. But honestly, I wish they would have made like the applicate I don't think that's that. The sprayer, basically. I wish they had made it like how they have the original setting spray from them. Guys, this is the best setting spray that I own right now. And that's saying a lot considering the fact that I like to use this from Born This Way a lot as well. But I will say if I had to pick and I can only use like literally one setting spray for the rest of my life, it would be this one in particular. But I'm going for more like a glowy type of look. So I am going to be going with this one instead. But like this one, as you can see, it just like squirts like any other setting spray. I like how this is more like a hairspray type of situation. And I gotta get my fan out per usual. Dollar Tree came in clutch. But yeah guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. How do you guys like it? What do you guys think? Your opinions and comments and whatnot. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl down below. Don't forget to shop Diamond Debonair for some cute, affordable mink lashes and accessories. And also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, of course, for more content from moi. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or evening or whatever time you guys happen to be watching this. And I will definitely see you guys in my next one.